Hey YouTube, Peter Bill Knife Guy, and today is a new knife day. That is right. It is new knife day. This is the effing grow. I suck at life. <laughs> EF-137, right there, an N690 steel. How freaking cool is that? Um, this is how I received the box. I don't blame F and Grow for this, but I do blame whoever handled this package because the other opening is right there. I never got a chance to open it because when I got it, that was off. The knife was in the box, wasn't, on, wasn't harmed, but this thing has seen better days. I don't know why, as you see, I didn't even undo the tape, but here's your model number and your information and blah, 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 made in China, as I believe all F and Grow knives are made in China, but that doesn't take away from the fact that this is freaking awesome. Look at that belt. Now it is dirty because I have used it. Um, I received this, I don't know, a good week or so ago, and I've been so busy at work that I haven't been able to get around to doing an actual review of it. But uh, this thing is freaking cool. Just like every other F and Grow that I have received, this is a fantastic sheath. Very minimal noise. If it, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and say that's no rattle. That is just the fact that this is a chunky, almost quarter inch slab of N690 steel with a big old belly. Let's see how big that belly is. We're looking at two inches of belly there. That is a big freaking belly for a knife that has a six inch, I'm gonna call that a six inch blade um, with a finger choil overall. We're looking at right around 11 and uh, 11 and three eighths, somewhere around in there. A good size knife and with some good it's, you know, surprisingly, this thing has fantastic balance and I have pulled off the handle scales and it is skeletonized. I believe I took a picture. If I did, you'll see it right here somewhere. But yeah, fantastic sheath. It's a taco style sheath, um, which is different than the other ones because the other ones had holes all the way around it. But either way, it still holds a molly clip or a molly lock or whatever these things are, a tech lock, uh, fantastically. Um, it's just a standard. You get these on... Uh, I believe most F and grow knives, but it works really good for this knife particular. Um, I think it might be better if it had some kind of drop because it is such a bigger knife, you know, if you'd be able to carry it to where say the top of your finger is the belt somewhere around in there. Cause this is gonna, this is gonna, if this is on your belt right here, that might dig into your side a little bit, but uh, I believe that you can purchase attachments that would drop this if that was an issue. Um, this is a chunky knife, a very chunky knife. And unlike the last two F and Grows that I had, this one actually has an adequate handle for my big old paws. This thing is perfect. I, the other ones I did have a little problem with, uh, the knives were awesome, but just a little small in the handle for me. This one actually has fantastic handle size for me. And I imagine if you had smaller hands, it'd still be fine. Um, I haven't chopped with it or anything. I've just done a couple shorts. It has this uh, lanyard on here, which always worries me when there's a protruding like lanyard hole, um, the tang extends. I always fear that that is going to be a hot spot, but just gripping it as hard as I can, it is nowhere near my pinky and I don't really feel it into here. But uh, we're gonna chop something with it in this video, hopefully if it doesn't get dark. So yeah quarter inch thick it's not a quarter it's 0.24 but i mean that's that's quarter enough for me um fantastic jimping this is uh i would say more on the aggressive side of jimping if you were to uh say you know it's not it it's a good thing you don't use a knife like this if you're chopping like that with your thumb on the jimping you're gonna not gonna have a thumb by the end of the day but uh as for the purpose of jimping, it's fantastic. It locks you in real good. Nice finger choil, so you can get up and do close work. Um, I don't know what to classify this knife as other than just being badass. Uh, 
put your thoughts in the descriptions I, or in the description. I, I don't know what it would be. We do have a nice little fuller right here. It is a swedge, non-sharpened, nice beefy tip on there. Uh, the grind is just a tad off, but I mean, not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, the back is perfect. Uh, milling, the milling job that they do on these knives is just fan freaking tastic everything is perfectly even there's no gaps this is on their higher end of their knives this this thing is uh about a 100 bucks on amazon i will put the link in the description if you're interested in it but what we have is a saber ground with a fuller almost quarter inch thick with a what kind of blade shape is that what would you say that thing is all belly there's not a straight spot on that blade, which is awesome. A little bit of a drop point or a clip point. Uh, we have, uh, these look like natural canvas micarta scales. And maybe not natural because they're colored, but canvas micarta with a liner. Um, like I said, it is, it is skeletonized in there and it shockingly is pretty well balanced for having that much of a belly. <laughs> I wish I was that balanced with my belly, but I'm not. <laughs> it is uh, fantastic, actually. I've, this is so far my favorite one from F Grow. I like the little G10, whatever you call these little spacers or whatever where the screws go through. I think it adds a kind of a, I mean, just with the way it looks with the liners and that, it just looks good. It looks really, really good. And for the price point, and the N690 steel, that's freaking awesome. Um, I know a lot of people don't like billboarding on knives, but I think F and Grow's uh, emblem is actually pretty well done. You know, it's it's there, but it doesn't just like bam. I'm gonna take up the whole knife. Um, and then their you know their model number and steel. It's 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 all there, but it's not too much. Some people might not like this, but I don't mind it. Uh, I guess this could be a skull crusher too. Yeah, I just, I love this knife because the handle, the handle is what does it for me. This is, if this thing had a small handle, I probably wouldn't like it. I would want to like it, but I wouldn't because this big a knife requires a big handle. <laughs> but anyways, let's go chop some stuff because I've been dying to chop something with this and I've yet to do it. I got a four by four pressure treated. Let's go see what happens. Got our four by four knife. Let's, uh. Let's just hold it in the hammer grip and see what happens. See what kind of bite we get. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Luckily, they didn't land on my toe. But good bite. Didn't quite stick, and I think that's because of the saber grind. But uh, let's pull back, do the three finger, and see how this thing bites. About the same, actually. Definitely lends itself towards chopping, for sure. Move over here. Now, I suck at chopping, obviously, because I started over here and I ended up over there, which is going to make it really hard to make two pieces out of this damn piece of wood. Ooh. That thing gets excellent bite for a six inch knife. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. See, with that belly, it's able to do things like that. 
sink in to a flat piece of wood because they're just con they're just continuous belly on this guy Ooh, that's in there all right let's see if we can make two out of one That's about as far as I'm gonna go with that. My arm is tired. I'm used to big chopping knives. That's comfortable too. Nice penetration. Very good. Um, I did notice a little bit of a hot spot right there. When I was chopping, this was digging into me. Could just be the way I was doing it. When I held it like this, no problem at all. And it actually, so that's, that's just holding it. That's pulling back on it. You're not getting that much more thump by holding back. I'm still digging that. That's freaking cool. I love the belly on this knife. All right, so the EF-137 lends itself to chopping like I thought. I still don't know what I would categorize this as. I guess you could use it for whatever you want. I think it'd be a little bit chunky for EDC, but for uh, light limbing, light chopping, definitely batoning, um, camp use, I imagine even being thick, this thing would slice up stuff fantastically. Uh, speaking of slicing, I did not check the edge retention on it. I didn't even check the edge in the beginning. I know it was sharp though, but let's see. A lot of this is me. Yep, it's still there. Of course it would be. Man, it's got some funk on the blade. Let's see all this crap on here. My hands are dirty. But uh, yeah, it's still there. This wood's kind of like moist. It's been raining the last few days. Or not this wood, this, this paper. And uh, everything in here is freaking wet. I need to get some moisture absorbers. Still sharp, as figured. But yeah, check them out. This thing's freaking awesome. I've uh, I've really been wanting to play with it, but I didn't want to do too much before I did the video. But yeah, EF-137, N690 steel, big old belly, nice chunky blade. Thanks for watching.